The very first time that I went for a flight, I was probably 16 or 17 years old, and I was going on what's called an introduction flight, which is this idea of going on a short flight with a licensed pilot instructor before you decide to pursue your pilot's license, just to make sure that you actually know what you're getting yourself into and want to become a pilot. When I met the pilot who I would be flying with, he asked me right away, why do you want to learn how to fly? And I looked at him and I told him about my story of having dreamt of being an astronaut ever since I was three or four years old and how becoming a pilot would be one of the steps along the way towards achieving my dream. And without missing a beat, he looked back at me and said, oh, you don't have to bother learning how to fly because in five or 10 years, you'll have babies and you won't want to become an astronaut or a pilot anymore. What was the worst about this situation wasn't that he was saying these things, it's that he thought he was actually giving me advice that would help me to avoid what he considered to be a mistake, which was me putting in all this time and effort and money to become a pilot when it was his sincere, deeply held opinion that I wouldn't achieve my dream. And so that was an instance where I had to realized that this person that up until that moment I had been idolizing and I'd been looking up to him and saying, I want to be you someday, I want to be a pilot. And he didn't believe in my dreams specifically because of my gender. I can tell you that if you are ever faced with someone who is looking at you and telling you that you're not going to be successful or that you can't achieve your passion or, or your future, because of sexism or anything else like that, the important thing to do in that instance is to go back to that fire inside, to go back to what it is that's really driving you and to focus on that and to remember that that is what's going to help propel you to success in the future. And so I ended up having uh, what turned out to be a really great flight with him. I went up on this flight, we talked for the rest about an hour about my different aspirations and the, the things that I'd done so far to achieve this dream and this goal. And it ended up being a pretty positive situation because when we landed, he shook my hand and he said, I fully believe that I'll see you walk in space someday. In that one instance, the most important thing to me was not to change his mind, but to reaffirm my own commitment towards this dream and this goal and the steps that I was taking to reach it. I'm Abby Harrison, or as I'm often known online, Astronaut Abby. I aspire to be an astronaut. I'm the founder and president of the Mars Generation nonprofit, a pilot, a public speaker, an author, and now a research scientist at Harvard Medical School.